Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to address the problem faced by some, which is the supported NVIDIA driver is not installed on your system problem in Windows 10. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today's video we're going to be looking at issues with the NVIDIA driver. So if you're upgrading your NVIDIA driver, maybe you're swapping from one NVIDIA card to another card and you're trying to reinstall the driver, you can experience problems. And the exact message that appears on the screen will be when you're actually installing the driver and it'll say, supported NVIDIA driver is not installed on your system. Now this is a bit of a weird one because if you've already got an NVIDIA driver and it's kind of updating the driver, yeah, it can be a pain. But anyway, there's kind of three and a half different ways you can go about actually resolving this. I say three and a half because one of them is kind of like the same as the other, but I'll call it three and a half. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing to do is to see if the driver is actually installed and whether it's working. Now, an easy way of doing this, especially with Windows 10, is because part of the NVIDIA driver is actually now controlled by the Microsoft Store, which, uh, yeah, is probably a problem for a lot of people. So if your Microsoft Store isn't working, there is another video which we've done on how to repair that, which you can see up in the top right-hand corner now. But if you, uh, you're pretty sure that everything else in your store is working, you can download apps OK, then this is how to go about doing it. So open up your Microsoft Store, and in the search bar at the top, just type in NVIDIA. And you want the very top one, which is the NVIDIA Control Panel app. Now this is where the problem relies, is basically the NVIDIA Control Panel app is either unregistered or not working correctly. So you need that to be working properly in order to perform the upgrade or the driver install. So let's click on this one. And as you can see, because I've already had this problem today, it says the product is installed. And if you haven't got it installed and it doesn't say launch here, then what you can do is click on get and you can download the software and it will install the NVIDIA control panel. The first time you try and run it, it will ask you to agree to the terms conditions and then you should find that your little icon down here, your NVIDIA settings is working and you can right click on it and you can open the NVIDIA control panel, which hopefully ours will open now. And there we go. So everything is working with the NVIDIA control panel. So at this point, we can then go ahead and try and reinstall the drivers. Okay, so the next option, if that fails, is to open up the registry and try and fix it that way. So there is actually a text file, which I've already created here. And as you can see, it's got the details in there. So this, is, can, this can be merged with the registry. So ideally, what you want to do is to search the registry and see if you actually have this key already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Copy this particular value here, copy, and then we're going to open up regedit. And if we go all the way up to the top, click on computer, then do edit and find, and then paste the key in there. So that is enable RID 69527, and then click on find next. And it'll take a little while, it'll search through the registry and look for that particular key. It does take a while, so be patient. A really, really long time. And there we go. Eventually, it will hopefully find it. Now, this should be in this particular string here. So, computer, H key local machine, system, control set 001, services, and NVLDD. MKM FTS. Now, if for any reason this key is not here, then what you have to do is to actually go into the folder and then on this side just click on new and then choose a D word 32 bit value and then just type in that command and then set the registered D word by double clicking on it and just change decimal and choose it to value data one. Click OK, reboot your machine, and that should do the trick. Now, this is the uh, the next part of this. If you don't actually want to go ahead and do that, what you can do is I'll leave this text actually in the description for the video. I'll also leave it on our Discord in the technical support section. So all you can do is just literally highlight all of this, click on Copy, create a new document, shortcut on your desktop, a new text document, and call it something like... NVIDIA fix, NVIDIA fixer.txt, open up that document, paste the information into it, and then do file and save as, 
And what you want to do is change it from text documents to all files, then get rid of the text on the end and just call it reg. Click on save. And then you'll get a registry key, which you can use here. So all you can do then, you can either double click on it to merge it or right click and choose merge. The registry editor will pop up and you can say yes. And it'll say about adding information, you can change or delete values, etc., and stop things working. But do you want to add it to the registry? Are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes. And the keys and values contained in the stream, desktop, blah, 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 NVIDIA fixer. Your bit there will obviously be different on your PC. But say it's successfully added to the registry. At which point you can click OK, close down all the windows, and then restart your computer. So go on to shut down, do restart. And then you can try reinstalling your NVIDIA driver again. Now, if you're not too sure where to get the NVIDIA driver or how to get the NVIDIA driver, all you need to do, open up Chrome, type in NVIDIA, or you can just go to nvidia.com, choose the first one, which is generally right, nvidia.com, and it'll be your local region. Go ahead over to drivers and choose GeForce drivers. You can automatically do driver updates if you want to, or you can do it manually. Some people prefer manually, so we're going to choose GeForce. This particular card that I'm using is a 16 series. And we're using the 1650 Super operating system, etc. And download type, you can choose also start search. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll have all your drivers ready. Ideally go for the uh, latest one. They generally tend to be the most stable. Although if you've had problems with the latest one, then it might be worth rolling back to a older version. Once you've done that, you can click on De get download, download the driver, and then try reinstalling again. And hopefully you shouldn't get any error messages. So there you go. there's some tips on how to get your NVIDIA driver installed. If you're having issues when you get the message saying supported NVIDIA driver is not installed on your system, which uh, yeah, can be a real pain in the backside. So hopefully this helps some of you. If it does, give the video a like and don't forget to click on subscribe and click on the chime button to be notified of future video releases. If you've got any comments or questions, you know where to stick them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.